is my rock, and today I'm going to be a rock painting. I'm going to be painting a waterfall on a rock. So, uh, what I did to get this rock is I just found a rock, and I shaped it, and I washed it, and I dried it. And now it's like this, and it's ready to be painted on. So, first off, we need a base coat, because if we start painting on this, then our colors won't be that vibrant. So I'm just gonna take my white as my base coat. So it's like I'm on a clean canvas and I'm gonna take a big paintbrush and just smear it over. And yeah, I'm probably gonna do two coats of this base coat and then we'll be ready to paint. I'm done with my base coat and now I'm gonna start painting my waterfall. To my waterfall, I added some hills on the side, and then above my hills, I added another green, darker hill. And then, in the middle, I'm making space for the waterfall, so don't forget to do that. And I'm painting my waterfall right now. And then, on the top, I started adjusting it out. And now on the top, I am painting the sailing sky blue. Now it is time to make the dots. Uh, this is a part where the painting, the rock painting really comes alive. And so I'm just gonna add the dots on the hill with a different color, but it's, I mean, in a different shade of this color, which is green. So I'm just gonna add the dots like that. And I'm gonna make it go different ways. And yeah, and some dots are gonna be big while the others are gonna be tiny. Make sure you add the dots with the back of the tip of your paintbrush so that you can form a nice dot. And whenever you do this, put your dot slanted in like a curve that's kind of at like a semicircle so that it looks like the hill is curved. I'm gonna add the dots at the upper hill with different colors of the same shade. I'm done with the hills and now I'm going to be start, I'm gonna start painting the sun and just form a nice big dot in the center. I'm gonna make it a little bit like as big as this and I'm just gonna get started with making the sun. So to do this, I'm gonna paint a big white dot in the center and then one row of white dots and two, row of, two rows of yellow dots and then two rows of orange dots. For the first row of the orange dot, I'm gonna make the dots a little bit bigger. I am finally done with this and so far I really like the way it looks and now I'm just going to start painting on the waterfall. I'm going to be using navy blue sailing sky white and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint little water drops that like raindrops that are basically on top of each other and the white is like for glare so i'm probably gonna do that at the top i'm gonna be using like these super tiny paint brushes this is the biggest this is a medium and this is the smallest and yeah so let's get started when i started painting this i started painting little raindrops but then those little raindrops started becoming a little bit thick so then I realized that I just want to paint some lines and then I started switching them out with it and finally I like the way it looked. I'm done with this and I really like how the waterfall looks and it kind of looks really cool. The dots and that makes a nice touch to it. But we're not completely yet. We have to still do the back. So I'm going to be painting in the same sky color over here it's called sailing sky and i'm gonna color all of these edges and make sure i don't miss a spot if you have glass varnish that you could put over it you can to protect your paint but i don't have that so i'm not gonna do it but don't worry i'm gonna keep mine in safe places 
I'm so happy with my rock painting. It's so cool and I love it so much. The sun is probably my favorite part. The waterfall looks really cool and I just like everything about it and I'm done with the back. It's very smooth finish and I hope you guys do it, do it too. Hope you enjoy this video. Bye!